for that entrepreneur that is listening that did wake up at 3 a.m. last night and walk around his living room for 45 minutes, super stressed, yeah. with his heart pounding out of his chest, what's your advice for that person? Yeah, so my takeaway from this whole experience, so like 11 companies over in total about 20 years, um, is that you know my like my own advice to myself would have been don't assume that my personal faculties are unlimited don't don't assume that my mind and my body are resources that I can use infinitely um, and I tell people to, to do a couple things and they're they're kind of weird like I don't think you hear a lot of this in the entrepreneurial world and that's why I think this message is really important to get out there um, measure your happiness um, measure your freedom so measure happiness i literally on a on a one to ten scale measured it for about 500 days in a row i finished it about a year ago um just how happy was i today on a one to ten scale um don't lose sight of that um if you're not doing things that you love i think this is the freedom one i think the best way to measure freedom is to look back at your schedule for the last week and how many one hour blocks were you doing things that you hate um if you're an entrepreneur and you're doing things that you hate you're not you haven't checked the freedom box that we all were trying to get to, to not be a you know in the corporate you know corporate cog in the system and we want to do our own thing um are we really free or are we doing things that we hate all day long <laughs> and i think the third thing is empower a personal i call it a, a personal health accountability buddy but um like for those metrics and any other ones you want to establish that have to do with you the entrepreneur right you, you are the life force of your business you are the creative force the innovative force um no one else is bringing the energy you're bringing to the idea like right. you're going to change the world because of you and so you've got to manage yourself as a key asset to the outcome of this business mm. as well as just what you want to be left with after your experience whether you succeed or not uh, on the business side and so i always like to tell people um find somebody in your life it could be your spouse it could be a family member and share those KPIs that you've developed for yourself around happiness, around freedom, whatever else, mood. I think there's maybe a third very important one. Did you feel manic today? Did you feel a little depressed today? Mm -hmm. I think those are both, uh, those are both bad. Uh, 10, 10 out of 10 manic, so excited, super raging, you know, working on things in the business. Um, is going to lead to a depressive cycle, <laughs> right? Uh, and even very healthy and smart people. Uh, when you do it enough so i actually tell people to, to limit the highs as well a little bit try and pull it a little bit more towards the center um, and report those metrics to an accountability buddy um, could even be an investor if you can be that open with them but it's probably someone in your personal life um, that you can share these things with 